Okay, in this video, let's take a look at the golf swing of Eric Van Ruyen, South African player, one-time winner on the PGA Tour, who's definitely gaining confidence each and every season out there. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. So let's take a look. So interesting player. He seems to be gaining his, uh, his confidence is certainly growing. Technique could possibly improve to give him some more consistency. Certainly this week he's playing great. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get it done on the Monday finish. But if we look at the technique itself, very interesting. So he's going, going up on the shaft plane. So classical takeaway starting up here on the plane. Then it's going to go up and get into that sort of left arm across the shoulder position. Club slightly laid off. And as he starts down, he doesn't, even though he's in, in posture at this point, he doesn't shallow it as much as some players do. And this club's sort of on the blue line at this point now. And then at impact, hands much higher at impact than they were at address, which leads, you know, for some players, it does give you the instability of the club face at the bottom. Now, when you're in rhythm and you're swinging it correctly, in terms of the timing, you're good. I mean, he is a great player, great talent, but you will see that the players that plane it out and get the shaft all the way back to the yellow line here instead of the blue one tend to be the players where this club is tracking this direction. Face stays more consistent and a little bit square through impact. He keeps that handle driving hard through, which keeps that face from getting out of control on the weeks when he really does have the rhythm working correctly. Like many world-class players, he has figured out either by hard work or by instruction or both how to get these wedges working. So he knows that if he's up and out of these shots, he's in trouble. So as he starts down, you can see he's in those legs, feet plastered to the ground. And that club, if with the camera angle is correct, more on this angle, you would see that club planning out perfectly on this shot. Look how down he is in the legs there for this wedge shot and then up and through. That gives you the club face control and that gives you the handle left exit that all these players are looking for to really control distance and direction with all their wedge shots. For any players watching this video that tend to get up and out of your posture and really extend and have the hips sort of pushing forward, knees pushing forward, which pulls you out of your posture, this lie here, downhill type shot, great for working on that. The only way to be successful with this shot is to purposely keep the legs quieter, really feel like you're pressing your rear end back against the wall back there and staying in that posture. And you can't push hard with the legs. You have to stay down in order to hit it solid and take a divot off of a downhill lie. Players that get up and out of it that are higher handicappers hate these shots that are downhill. You're coming up and out of it already, you're hitting it thin or topping it on this shot. You can see him here, this leg is softer here, less pressure at this point to keep him lower. And then he'll push later just to get the right power, but really good off this lie to stay in that posture for a player that tends to come out of it anyway. Okay, now with the driver, a little bit of an obtuse angle, but we can still see what happens on the way through impact. Same good position at the top. And then as he comes down, Looking okay to this point with the posture, and then as he drives hard, he drives those hands up high off the plane at that point there. So quite a bit high compared to some players coming through. And once again, if he's in rhythm, in timing, he's fine. If not, literally you can use, lose it both directions with that type of an impact position. His strength, his flexibility, his coordination, allowing him to be great most of the time. But if he struggles, it's just due to that changing of the shaft angle and then difficulty controlling the club face at the bottom. One last clip here looking at a wedge shot. And this is one where he does get a little quicker and up and out of it. This ball actually goes over, plops into the bunker on this side. Simply because as he gets ahead of this shot, those hands are up there off the plane somewhat. And that face stays open. You could also make a case for the fact this one looks more open at the top as well, where his wrist angle might be not quite exactly the same. And like I alluded to earlier, sometimes when he swings quicker, it's a shorter move back. The body simply doesn't turn as far back. The arms lifted a little bit, and that can also be the recipe for getting that club face a little more open up there at the top. But at any rate, as he comes down, 
those hands were off the plane. And that ball then right off into the bunker, which is a pretty big mess when you consider where that pin is. This one here, one more example of getting up and out of it. Hands way up off the plane, having to try to control the face at the bottom. And this club flying, or this ball rather flying off the left into the creek. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Once again, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. And we'll see you in the next video.